It's definitely about that moment where you have a choice about whether to, f to fill your time with stuff which is on offer to you. Making that decision that, no, I'm not going to just, I've got, I'm thinking about this problem in my life or this interesting thing or whatever I see in front of me and just meditating on that for five minutes. Instead of doing that, I'm going to um, press play on something. I was interested to talk to a, a philosopher, um, basically <laughs> because I know that their sort of uh, um, MO is thinking at length rather than in tiny little chunks about things and really giving, giving things a good old think. The topic that Paul had scoped out for himself connects with some of the issues that I'm interested in in metaphysics and philosophy of mind, in particular perceptions of time passing and change uh, and, and the way in which those are affected by activity and passivity. He talked about you know the kind of history of thinking about time. Um, most of the big thinking seemed to be relatively recent and he sent me some articles about how we connect moment to moment and different ways of thinking about that. I think it's about a more contemporary way of waiting in which one is either interrupted by or actively seeking out diversion and listeners will be able to engage with that and, and reflect perhaps on their own experience. There's, there's two elements to it. There's the live music which is played by a cello and a banjo <laughs> um, and it's getting various interruptions. I've learnt that a creative artist can be approaching and addressing um, the very same topics and issues that I'm working on and you know I'm reading text and thinking about it and writing text he's exploring similar ideas creating a piece of music but actually a lot of the ideas and insights and debates and contrasts come out in both in both ways of thinking and it's been very interesting to see how that's worked